seven kilometers to the gate of Arusha National Park. There we will get a minute or a few minutes to get out of the car, stretch. I will go in to prepare the permit. And after having or getting our permit, we'll be ready to drive into the park. The size, although they, they are expanding the parks, but the size that is recorded is 545 square kilometers of land. In the park, we can see the, like giraffe, we can may see uh, um, monkeys, buffaloes, waterbuck, bushbuck, small antelopes, a dig dig. And the park is famous to, for black and white colobus monkeys. Black and white colobus monkeys can be found mostly in the rainforest areas, and this is semi rainforest area. And they are living here in Arusha National Park. Unfortunately, they have no room. Unfortunately, they have no room to get out of Arusha National Park because people are living close to the park. And since people are living close to the park, they won't come out and enjoy their life out here. There is no need of them coming out since they have enough of what they need to eat. They are more up on the trees. Most of the other monkeys, baboon, black, blue monkey, black faced velvet monkey, they have five fingers like us. They have a thumb like you. But the Columbus monkey, because they live up on the trees and they jump from one tree to another, they are adapted to have four fingers. So that when they jump from a tree to a tree, the thumb is not blocking them, it's not hurting them. Because they jump with all the full weight and speed, this will be a problem. So they'll finally lose this and they end up having four and that's how they are living. 10% of their life, they can be in the ground, but 90% is up on the tree. They travel from one side of the park to the other side by jumping on the canopies of the tree. And that's what Arusha National Park is famous for. Um, I'm not saying it's a guarantee to see them in the park, I mean the Columbus Monkey, but the high chances of seeing them is here in Arusha National Park. The other animals, as we go further out to the Momela Lakes, we will see them. The temperature is a little bit high, but I'm hoping that we will see the flamingos in the lake. Uh, the flamingos, we have them in Tanzania. The breeding site is Lake Easi. I mean, I mean Lake Natron, Lake Easi, and uh, part of it in Manyara. But they will come up to Arusha National Park as the feeding site. So if they will be there, we will be lucky to see them. So, since 1960s, Arusha was a game reserve, and then after the independence was dedicated, was gazetted to be a national park. Till today is a national park, and our government is doing all its best to expand or to take the land that used to be a hunting areas along the parks to be a national park. Unfortunately, Arusha National Park doesn't have any of uh, areas that used to be a hunting block. So to expand it, they need to pay, pay the people around here to take the land into the park. So when we are in the park, you can open the windows. If you see like the baboon coming close by, do not attract them by sh showing them anything that is like a food type. Because jumping them into the car is not a big deal. And I don't want you to your lunch to eat again. Jumping in the car. Yes. If you go to like Gorongoro uh, conservation area at the gate, a single minute of leaving you uh, leaving your window open, mm -hmm. you're gonna lose anything that is a food type in your car will be taken. Mm -hmm. They are very clever. Yeah, they know how to open those boxes. That's my song. Yeah, yeah. They open the very box. quick. They open the box. Yeah. And that's the time you'll see the baboon is moving with two legs. Both of the front hands are full of food. And because you cannot you cannot take it away from them. And when they took it, it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. Because you are also worried that they can bite you, they can cause you a disease. So it's better, it's better not. Well, these ones here are not very aggressive, but it's just to, to make sure that you're on the safe side. Um, when the animals are, are close to the car, your silence is very important. Animals are used to the bus, used to the vehicles, but they are not used to the human noises. So 
So if in case a giraffe or a buffalo is close by the car, I will request you to remain silent so that you'll have a minute to enjoy uh, animal close to the car or close to us. And when we're in the park, I have my birds book with me if you see any bird or if you need to use the binocular for something far, you can use mine and then give it back. Okay? Thank you. Very soon you will see the sign of Arusha National Park and if you want to take a photo, be prepared already. Be prepared. to do is take off that little thing right there and I'll have a nice okay. perfect view to report in the front. Okay. Let me help him. Now but enjoy here for mood eh? Yes family we are cruising. property tax right that's that's always there because we let the rent from the government so the, as the minute you build the go, house family. here we go yes Arusha. so that's this that's where we have family it's a sign of Arusha national park we are now entering the Arusha national park <coughs> this is where the 